We have chain link symbol LINK versus the dollar being requested by Mr. Hootie Hennessy as, as, as he does consistently. And again, we've been following this one up for the last couple of weeks here. We identified the higher low above the golden cross. And then we said, hey, first target 28 bucks, a breakout above there. Then we got 30, uh, I think it was like 32 to 33. And then yesterday's target, I believe was about 35 or so. And this is actually leading up for a continuation move and very likely playing out the measure move from the inverted head and shoulders, which is actually pointed up all the way to, uh, just north of about 40 bucks right here. And this one is kind of been uh, a little bit of no man's land right now. We can throw in the volume profile and see if it has a similar signature to Bitcoin. Not necessarily, actually. Uh, in fact, this one's kind of all air above this current level. So this one, this one can actually uh, rather roll on the higher term timeframes. Do you see good volume on that last uh, up thrust and closing on new highs on the rally as well? That's typically a good sign. Three day did close yesterday and did close. Yes, did close above the range highs. Very, 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 very good signature right there. And I do expect that this one does go higher from this region. Now, short term timeframes, do we see a bit of a pullback? I mean, of course, there can be an evident flow on this one, but I wouldn't necessarily be looking for anything too uh, much of a red flag on the higher term timeframes, especially as long as it's a above 33 bucks but uh, but even then that wouldn't necessarily destroy a daily trend below about 30 uh, 30 dollars even is where I start to get a little bit of cold feet with this one until that happens short term uh, time frame downside moves are probably just ebbs and flows uh, creating higher lows and uh, looking at the hourly right here this one actually looks like it's you know having a nice little <laughs> reaccumulation hidden bullish divergence right here as you can see and uh, hourly jewels lost its downside curvature so I do expect that this one does start to uh, well work its way a little bit sideways in the short term time frames but have an upside resolution um, let's see I believe we probably would have a signal over here as well let's see okay cool all right on binance yes here we go uh three day actually did close above the top side toronto band as well on link and uh, again you know my rule on that if as long as that condition is met i do look for this as continuation of trend and this will be implying uh, probably even test at least about 36 and a quarter um daily i imagine did it as well and this one will be and this one will be consistent as long as uh link is closing daily totals above 34 and a half bucks and again i would just have those general upside targets over the next week or two again this is probably not happening today like please understand that we you know we are looking at higher term time frames right now but uh, short term time frames actually look pretty damn good for what it's worth anyway so hopefully that was helpful there you have uh link versus the dollar and uh nice one